just me and my guitar What's going on guys, it's Mark here from Mark's Aquatics On well, today, we're going to um, We're going to make some Some shrimp trees Which is going to be different A little twist on things Um. We've got a lot of different leaves here, which I got from the garden. Types of leaves there. We've got nettles, we've got hawthorn, and we've got um, some maple as well, all freshly sprouted. Now, what I'm going to do is I've got them on a on a sheet, on a baking sheet there. Just got the oven up to uh, 100 degrees, and um, and we're going to pop them in, and we're going to just take all the moisture out of these and dry them right up first. So that's the plan. We're going to dry them all out. Oh, hang about before we do that. I've just seen something. A little tiny ladybird. Yeah, just found this little ladybird crawling on the... Uh, I'll just get him into frame there. Bless him, look. He nearly went in the oven. He might take off in a minute. There he goes. Whee! Right, mate, I'll let you go. I'm just going to pause you now, and I'm going to put him out of the window. And he can crawl back out onto the plants and carry on his nice little life out in the wild. Poor guy was nearly cooked. I'll have to go through that all now before I put it in the oven. I've got off, or I'll have guilt. <laughs> Right, that was lucky. That's a little ladybug now. He's gone back out the window. Got a nice little present as well from my daughter yesterday. Came in the post. Check it out. Everyone knows I love my coffees. Look at she got me, bless her. Mark's Aquatics, look. And a little subscribe sign on there. She's a little diamond, she is. She really is. We're going to put those in the oven. And then when we come back, they should look quite different. Right guys, as you can see, nice and crispy. Listen to that. That's brilliant stuff. Right, what we've got to do now is we've got to put all that into there and give it a good old blending. That's the plan. So we've got to get all this stuff. Put it into there. Chuck that over there. Sorry, we've got a bit of background music going on here. The wife's watching a film. She won't turn it off. <laughs> right. That's the last little bit in the pot there. Good old chopping blade from the old fruit ninja. Screw that up. Uh, just lift that up there a minute. Okie dokie. Right, hold your ears if you don't like any noise. <laughs> Empty it then into this pot. And there you go. Really, really fine. Dry as a bone, that is. Now then, what the plan is, I don't think this has been tried before, but I went and cut some, I've got some lovely old um, birch up in my garden. And I've taken some of these off. These are old dead ones. And I've, um, I've boiled those. So they're nice and uh, bug free. And absorbed some water. And they've dried again. But now what we're going to do is. This is just all experiment stuff this is. So 
I haven't tried it before and this is the first time that you're going to see it work and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually dip this into some egg, egg white and then we're going to actually sprinkle the powder from all those leaves all over it and then we're going to pop it back in the oven again and just let it dry and see what happens and when it's dried we'll stick it in the shrimp tank and see how the shrimp make of it all right guys we've got an egg there I've just uh, separated it to get the rest of the we're not putting the yolk in it's just going to be the white because white is just 100 percent protein And then, I'm going to chuck that in there. And uh, where's my little mate gone? Where's my little kitchen helper? Spud? Spud? Here he comes. There you go, fella. He loves his eggs. Is that good? <laughs> right, I'll carry on with the, uh, I'll carry on with this now. Okay. Right, so we got that, we got that, and we'll brush. Right, I'm just going to paint some of this on here now. There you go. Paint some on the sticks. Not all over it, just on some parts. Like you say, egg's good for everything, so... Uh, I used to feed eggs to my fish, to the fry, and it never did them any any harm whatsoever. Right now we'll go over the. I don't know if you can still see there, okay? Gordon Ramsay would be proud, wouldn't he? <laughs> I'll be out of that kitchen in seconds, wouldn't I? And just keep sprinkling it over, and it covers it all nice. Just keep rotating it around and it'll slowly absorb that. And what I don't use from this, I'll just stick in a tub and I'll just sprinkle it over the surface of the tank. It'll absorb the water and it'll just sink. They are sucking onto there quite good. This is all fresh greens. So everything's good for them. All that stuff, all the leaves, three different types of leaves, the maple leaves, the um, hawthorn leaves and the nettles are all on there. Back to you when they've, uh, when they've dried off. Okay. Okay guys, there you go, we're all done. We've got a nice pot full. All chewed up there. I've got some other bits and bobs in there as well. Some uh, pollen and stuff that I've made from a previous uh, batch of food that I made up. I'm uh, just doing some trial and error stuff at the moment just to see what they're really going for. Um, but uh, I'll let you on on that. On that little secret later on. But there you go, we've got some of these little trees here. Which I've had in the oven. They've gone off really well. You can shake them around, nothing seems to come off. So hopefully that protein now is uh, is glued them glued everything nicely to the uh, to the wood. So what we yeah, got a bit of a result there, guys. I think it's a nice natural way to feed your shrimps. I know it takes a bit of work, and you can quite easily buy these things. But uh, I do enjoy making stuff and seeing how things work, and that seems to be working okay. That's been in there for about 15 minutes. And there's quite a few on there. And it's, uh, I think what it is, it's, some of it's releasing as well. They're kicking some off as they're moving around on it. And there's quite a lot which is, um, which is gone uh, all over the place and blowing around in there now. So the, I think if, uh, if I come up with a better idea of, of, of sticking it to the, uh, to the branches and it not coming off I think there's a lot landing on the floor so there's, there's probably a good I'd say 80 80 babies in here and uh, most of them I can see are on the floor and actually picking up the other bits as well but uh, there's still quite a few on there
and they stripped it like a little plague of locusts <laughs> yeah yeah they've really enjoyed that I might do that again I think I've got plenty of powder a bit of egg on it dip it in doesn't seem to do anybody any harm whatsoever like I say I used to feed it to my fry um, that was the egg yolk actually I used to dry the egg yolk out and powder and that used to feed the fry they used to eat that first when they were first born and um, freshly hatched artemia as well but I think that was quite a good little result there though not bad at all I'm sorry that the, uh, the tank's a little bit uh, a little bit cloudy at the moment because I've been putting some gen chem in there and um, it's clouded the water up a bit on all the systems it's their uh, regular feed day today We've got lots more babies on the way and there's some well, there's quite a few babies actually still in this system as well so they'll all feed on that which is good for them I'll try and get a close-up of the um, of what's left on the on those little branches there just some small bits left there what they're gathered around now and they're taking that off I think I might just leave that branch in there I might take it out again and put some more on it I'll see how it goes and um, I'll let you know what uh, what happens yeah, they've had a good feed today a few on the filter over there still where it's being sucked onto the filter but it won't take them long between them and the snails they'll soon clean this lot up in no time at all all right then guys i'm going to say uh, goodbye on this one hope you enjoyed the video something a bit different and um if you do like what you see please like share and subscribe and um for all these for all you new one new people that have jumped onto the channel and having and uh, just having a little browse through and having a look go back and have a look at uh, some of the other videos that i've done and i might encourage you to uh, subscribe as well all right then guys you're all stars love you loads and i'll see you on the next video bye for now just me and my guitar.